In vitrogen, view RNA in situ hybridization assays enable reliable detection of mRNA targets in cells and tissue sections. These assays incorporate branched DNA amplification technology to visualize RNA with single molecule sensitivity and superior signal-to-noise ratios than traditional ISH technologies. Available in both colorimetric and fluorescent options, view RNA ish tissue assays enable detection of multiple RNA transcripts at one time, in one tissue sample. This video will demonstrate how to achieve high-quality multiplexed RNA imaging in your tissue samples with the view RNA ish tissue fluorescence assay. The Invitrogen View RNA Tissue Fluorescence Core Kit comes with the required wash buffer components, pretreatment, and amplification reagents. The OnePlex Core Kit comes with label probe type 6. If multiplexing, individual modules with additional label probes can be purchased. A View RNA target probe set is also required and can be purchased separately. Using our online probe set search tool, you can select your target information and find probes to meet your needs. If your target of interest isn't available, we also offer custom probe design at no extra cost. The reagents and equipment should be prepared before beginning the protocol. Calibrate the dry oven and ensure the oven is set to 40 degrees Celsius. Temperature and incubation times are critical to success and should be followed closely throughout the protocol. The reagents should be prepared and pre-warmed before beginning the experiment as well, including 1x PBS, fixative, 1x pretreatment solution, wash buffer, and storage buffer if using an overnight stopping point. Then prepare the slide moisture chamber by wetting paper towels with distilled water, warming to 40 degrees Celsius, and layering into the slide staining tray. Both cryopreserved and FFPE tissue samples can be used in this assay. If using cryopreserved tissue, samples should be fixed overnight before beginning. If using FFPE samples, slides may need to bake to promote tissue adhesion to the slide. FFPE samples should be deparaffinized and rehydrated. After deparaffinization, perform the heat pretreatment by submerging the slide rack into the 1x pretreatment solution on a hot plate heated to 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. Incubate for the optimal time. Wash the slides with distilled water twice and then transfer to PBS. Proceed to draw a hydrophobic barrier around the tissue sample and allow to dry. Cover the tissue with PBS to ensure it doesn't dry out, taking care to not touch the barrier so that it can dry. Once the samples and reagents are prepared, perform the protease digestion and fixation. Prepare the working protease solution by diluting in pre-warmed 1x PBS. With the slides laying flat in the slide chamber, add the working protease solution to the tissue, making sure the entire section is covered. Close the slide chamber and incubate for the optimal time. Remove the protease solution from the slides and insert into a slide rack inside of a staining dish containing 1x PBS. Wash gently two times with fresh 1x PBS, then fix for five minutes and wash again. Prepare the working target probe set solutions by diluting the view RNA probe sets in pre-warmed probe set diluent. Lay slides flat to cover with the probe set solution. Transfer to the dry oven and incubate for two hours. After incubating, wash the slides three times with fresh wash buffer. If performing the protocol in two days, the slides can be stored at this step in storage buffer at room temperature for up to 24 hours. If slides were stored, washes are required before moving to pre-amplifier hybridization. The pre-amplifier mix should be diluted in the pre-warmed amplifier diluent. Cover the tissue sections with 400 microliters of the pre-amplifier mix and incubate in the oven for 30 minutes. Wash the slides three times and dilute the amplifier mix in the pre-warmed amplifier diluent. Add the working amplifier mix to the slides, covering the tissue completely, and incubate again for 30 minutes. 
wash the slides again three times before moving to the label probe hybridization. After the amplifier hybridization, proceed to module-specific hybridization. If multiplexing, label probe hybridizations can be done simultaneously. Dilute the label probes in the pre-warmed label probe diluent, flood the tissue samples with 400 microliters, and incubate for 30 minutes. After incubation, wash the slides three times in wash buffer, with the last wash being 10 minutes. Before imaging, you should perform a nuclear counter stain following standard protocols and proceed to mounting. For this assay, the mountants containing antifades are highly recommended. Add mountant and carefully place the cover slip over the tissue section. Keep slides protected from light. Finally, your samples are ready to image using a fluorescent microscope. Using the EVOS imaging system, beautiful images can be captured.